Assalamu alaikum everyone. In today's session, I will tell you how to install Oracle 19C on Windows. This Oracle 19C is the latest version of Oracle and it can be installed on the Windows with 64 bits operating system. Earlier versions of Oracle were available to install on 32 bit operating system. But now the Oracle official website has removed all those previous versions and they are not available for download anymore. So first make sure that you have 64 bit operating system and then you can install 19C version of Oracle. To check if you have a 64 bit or 32 bit operating system just go to this PC and click on properties. In system type you can see that it is written 64 bit operating system. And for 32-bit, it will be written here as 32-bit operating systems. So first make sure that you have 64-bit operating system. Plus you have enough storage to install Oracle. So make sure about these things before installing Oracle because once you install it and the installation is not successful, it is not easy to just uninstall Oracle. You need to remove registries, which is a complicated process. So now let's start. First, go to this website, oracle.com download. And here you can see in database, there is an option of database 19C Enterprise Standard Edition. Click on it. You can see that there are different files available for different operating system. Here we have the file for Microsoft Windows 64 bit. So we need to download this zip file. When you will click on this zip file, it will ask you to accept the Oracle license agreement. Just check this option and click on download button. Okay, I have already downloaded it. So I'm not going to download again, but when you click on this button first time, it will ask you to sign in. And if you don't have account on Oracle, just create one account and sign in with that username and password. And then you can easily download this file. Okay, so I have downloaded this WinRAR file and I have created a new folder in Drive C with the name of Oracle and I have copied that WinRAR file here. Here I'm going to extract it. So we have to wait until it will be extracted completely. Okay, so now it has extracted fully and here you can see that we have the setup option. We are going to run this It will open the setup window after some time. Okay, so first it is asking select one of the following install option. Create and configure a single instance database. Set up software only. So we will go with the first option. We will create and configure a single instance of database instead of just setting up the software. Click next. Okay, so here we need Oracle for desktop class. So we will select desktop class next. Okay, so here it is asking for user information that if you want to use existing Windows user or create new user, so you can select any option. Here I am going with the option of use Windows built-in account. Yes. So now here we have different options. We can see that where we want to install it. So I want to install it in C. Here you can provide the base location. This is the database file location. I will let it like this. This is the global database name. You need to remember this name. You can change it. I am letting it like ORCL. And here I am just unchecking this option. Now here you can give the password and you need to remember this password because once you will start using Oracle server, you need to give the password. So make sure to remember this password. You need to follow the guidelines for password and then next. Okay, it is not accepting this option. So I am selecting E. I am going with another drive. I wanted to install it in C, but it is not accepting that. So next and now you can finally click on install button now it has starting the installation process it will take some time okay windows fire block has blocked some features so i will just allow it so that it can uh, continue installation okay so the installation process 
it has completed and it is successful so let's just close it to download sql developer go to this website and select sql developer so it has given the option to download for windows 64 bit so i will download this one i have already downloaded this so i will just open it i will create a new folder with sql developer name here i will paste that vendor file and i will extract it so it has extracted now we will open this folder and we will run this application sql developer okay so this is the sql developer window we will create a new connection here you can give any name to this connection i am giving db okay so we have SID as ORCL, which is the name of our database. So we will change it to ORCL. And here I will give the username as system and password, which I have just created. And now I will test it. So here you can see that the status is successful. I will just connect it. And now you can see that this db has been created okay so because uh, this is the system user it has access to all the configuration tables in this way you can install oracle 19c and sql developer on your windows